And the question is, how much of a deposit should I give my contractor before we start the work? And that's gonna vary from contractor to contractor, depending on the contract as well. In our case, we typically ask for five to 10%. Uh, if it's a really small project, it could be 50%. For example, if it's, you know, we're going in and out in a few days, it uh, might be half up front, half after, but the larger the project, the smaller that percentage will be. For really big projects, custom homes, that percentage is typically even less than 5%. Uh, but once again, it really depends on the contractor that you're working with, however comfortable they are. Um, if they, depending on the contract, maybe they need to purchase a bunch of materials ahead of time before they start getting the first draws from you as you start going through the project. Um, ultimately though, it's just laying out the, uh, the required cash flow for the contractor and that's what they're gonna have to look at. Uh, in our case, we have something else to consider as well, which is a lien holdback. So essentially, by law, the homeowner can hold back 10% of certain uh, items that haven't been paid yet. For example, if we get an invoice from a subcontractor that hasn't been paid yet, 10% of that can be held back. So that holdback can be now, the new law is 60 days. So that is essentially our profit that we don't get for 60 days uh, after the invoicing cycle. So these are all things that as a contractor, uh, we would need to consider, but we also need to consider what you're comfortable doing as a homeowner. Uh, and you need to make sure that you know what you're comfortable doing. Just make sure you understand your contract, make sure you, you're comfortable with your contractor and you trust him, that he has a good reputation, that if he's been in business a long time, he's doing this, it, he's not going anywhere, right? So he has his warranty, uh, he has referrals, you've checked his references, those types of things. Um, it's gonna vary from project to project. Just make sure that you're comfortable with it and that you trust the people that you're working with.